If you haven't been here before, welcome to the eBusiness Boss channel. My name's Nick and today I'm going to show you how you can find your competitor's supplier. I've done a video on this before and one of our subscribers commented on that video the other day and said, Nick, please don't talk about it, show us how to do it. And I thought that was a really, really fair point. So this video is going to be a tutorial and I'm going to show you exactly the tool I would use and the tool I do use to do this and that way you can do exactly the same thing. So if you are new here and you're interested in learning more about Amazon FBA, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notifications bell, and that way you're going to be the first to know about useful videos just like this. Okay, so the product example we're looking at are these eco-friendly disposable plates. And I want you to imagine that we're very interested in selling these plates ourselves, And we want to know this brand here looks like the best selling competitor. We want to know which supplier they use so that we can sell as good a quality product and hopefully get it for a similar sort of price. Now, all we need to do is copy this brand name and I'm gonna show you a few different ways you can do it because the standard way won't always work. So the software I'm using here is Jungle Scout. Now you can use a few other different bits of software. You could use Pangeva, you could use Import Genius, but they are much, much more expensive as I spoke about in the other video. Uh, Jungle Scout is much more affordable. If you use the link in the description, you can benefit from a discount for a limited period of time. So if you wanna go ahead and try it out, use that link. Now, if you do, we will make a commission and it's only fair that we mention that. Uh, we always make you aware of that. So this is Jungle Scout, and this is their tool, the supplier database. So once we've clicked into supplier database, we've got some options. We can search via product, company, supplier, or ASIN. So we're just gonna put the brand name in here. We're gonna click search. What they've told us here is it looks like Earth's Natural Alternative is a brand and it's likely owned by Earth's Natural Alternative Inc. So they've said, try searching for this. So you do exactly what they say and brought up some better information. Now, you might still be looking at this thinking, right, well, this top one here says natural alternative. So that stands for international. That's not exactly the same. How can I be sure? So what I did here is copied this, went over here, pasted it in with their address. And I found that, yes, this is the company we're looking for, Natural Alternatives International Inc. So we found the information we're looking for. Now, we've got here the top suppliers that they use, and it's very, very clever how Jungle Scout do this. I believe they do this by looking at the Bill of Laden database, and they're able to pull a lot of public information. So let's have a look at this top example. And this is really, really powerful because if you found a product that you want to sell, but you're struggling to find a supplier, well, this is going to put you in the driver's seat. And from here, it's very, very simple. You can just head over to search for contact information. They'll automatically search Google and you can find some contact details. You don't just have to go onto Alibaba and look for this supplier, although of course you could do that. But instead you can contact them directly uh, via email or however you like. So that's pretty interesting, I'm sure you'll agree. And yeah, hopefully you found that useful. Now I wanna give you another example because there are gonna be times when you search and you're not able to find the company because these companies are actually very good at hiding their information and so they should be. Let's just say, for example, we want to find the seller of these. Now, ProBreeze is a brand that I know quite well. I know that the seller is making an incredible amount of money. He's one of the top sellers in the UK and he's doing very, very well in the US too. So if we actually just have a look, why we're here, why don't we just have a quick look what their sales look like. While that's loading up, let's just talk a little bit more about this. So why have I used this example? Now, ProBreeze is the name of a brand, but sometimes you'll go to search this and you won't see this information here, or this information won't be exactly what you need to get the correct information from the bill of laden. So let's just have a quick look why we're here. So they sell quite a few products. Now I'm actually gonna use Helium 10's Chrome extension for this. Let's have a look at the sales that they're making. Okay, so as you can see, this seller is doing a lot. Uh, they've got one listing here that's doing over $600,000 on a monthly basis. They've got a couple of other here's here. Just between these top three listings, they're doing over a million dollars a month. So they're a very, very big seller. And 
yeah, I do use a whole range of tools, just in case you're wondering. Obviously, we've got Jungle Scout open, we've got Helium 10. I like to continually use them all so that I can keep ahead and stay on top of what's really, really working and relay that onto you guys. So loads and loads of interesting information there. Uh, and they're telling us that on a monthly basis, they're doing 1.2 million from these listings. Powerful, powerful stuff. Now, let's get back to the point of the video. So I want you to imagine that you're looking for a supplier. You've put in the brand name, you're getting nothing back. What can you do next? So all I've done is head onto a site called trademarkia.com and I've just put the brand name in, Pro Breeze. And this is going to tell us which company actually owns this brand. And let's have a look. So registered, live mark. Here it is, it's Temper World LLC. Okay, and you've got more information and we're gonna come back to this in a minute. But then what we're gonna do is go over here, type in company, and we're just going to see what we can find. So yeah, we've got absolutely loads. Look at all these supplies that we can take. And then you might say, well, Nick, how can I tell that that's the same supplier? You said that the company name was Temper World LLC. They hold the trademark. You're absolutely right. So what I would do is have a look Find the address, which is here. Okay, so you've got that there. And then cross-reference it, just to double check. This is exactly the same. Okay, so we know this is the right company. And from there is exactly the same thing. We can go through, pick the different suppliers that we want. We've got textile. What else have we got? Electric bed suppliers, fabric. So this will give you a list of all the suppliers that this seller is using. And I think this is really, really powerful. So. That's what I wanted you to know. Sometimes you'll use this tool and you won't be able to find the supplier. If you can't, search their brand name on Trademark It, find out which company owns the brand, and then you'll be able to find the supplier details. So from here, we could go into this one here and they've had, you know, it tells you how many imports they've had, how many shipments this company are dealing with here. And it's a great, great place to find potential suppliers. And if you're finding the suppliers of the people that are dominating the market, well, most of the time, unless they're cheating, it's because they're selling the best quality products. So that is why this strategy is so powerful. And speaking of strategies, if you're interested in furthering your knowledge as a potential Amazon seller, as a current Amazon, Amazon seller, consider looking at our Amazon FBA training. I'll leave details of that in the description below for a limited time uh, whilst we're pulling people in sort of testing the performance of the course and getting feedback uh, we can offer quite a big discount on that so you'll find that link in the description below if you're serious about maybe quitting your job starting a full-time amazon business just how we have then look at that training because if i had that information at the beginning of our journey it would be much much different for us we would be way further ahead so yeah i wanted to make you aware of that Guys, this is the end of today's video. I really, really hope you found that useful. If you've got any questions, jump in the comments below and there's gonna be more useful videos coming from us very, very soon. Thanks for tuning in.